Head is shaved. Makeup is looking good. Babies are asleep. New job secured. Guess who's back for another episode of Mo Mondays? Welcome everyone to another episode of Mo Mondays on our YouTube channel. Um, as promised, I am back and I will hopefully be providing you more regular updates with all things Teams Rooms. Um, so I want to get cracking and jump straight into the latest updates that are now coming across onto uh, the Teams Rooms platform. So let me go ahead and just share my screen across here. Now, if you haven't seen um, the tech community blogs, we'll drop a link down below to show you where you should keep them. You should absolutely bookmark this web page. Uh, I have it bookmarked, uh, and every time I log into my laptop and you know start off uh, um, Microsoft Edge as an example or Chrome, whatever you may be using, I get greeted with this page, and it gives you all the latest updates for everything around Teams, including Teams Rooms. And Microsoft's very own Matt Taylor. Uh, published this blog recently, uh, just after Infocom, showing some of the latest and greatest uh, updates that are now coming across onto Teams, which I want to talk to you guys about. So, of course, you've seen in earlier episodes where I've spoken about things like IntelliFrame and Front Row, um, you know, we're bringing those enhancements really, really soon. Uh, so, as an example, if we take a look at Cloud IntelliFrame, with Cloud IntelliFrame, uh, next month or in the next quarter, there's some updates that are now starting to come across, really to take advantage uh, of the cameras that are inside the room. So, of course, we know or you should be watching the early episodes. Uh, we know there's two different types of cameras that you can effectively put into a Teams room system. <clears throat> you have intelligent cameras. Those are cameras with AI on board that provide a whole wealth of different types of features. And then, of course, you have non-intelligent cameras, which are typically just like, you know, a, a traditional camera with pan, tilt, zoom, etc. Uh, across there. Now, with IntelliFrame, that's com coming from Microsoft, IntelliFrame is able to identify the types of cameras that are installed in that room. Um, and one of the updates that are coming next quarter is if you have a non-intelligent camera, so just a traditional camera with no AI on board, Microsoft will be able to utilize IntelliFrame in the background, in the cloud, without you having to do anything and provide a composite view of the people inside of the room. So if you have four people in the room inside of the cloud with that camera, we'll be able to actually provide the composite view, and you'll see uh, just across here on the images, um, where in that room, we're, we're effectively splitting uh, the video stream and providing uh, kind of four video feeds uh, in a single screen. Now, of course, if you have one of the intelligent cameras that are on the market, for example, the, um, you know, uh, Poly E70, um, you know, those types of cameras are multi-stream capable, which means IntelliFrame will be able to identify that ah, this camera has multi-stream capabilities uh, and be able to provide individual video feeds, which is what you'll see across there. So that's update number one. Update number two, of course, is um, you, a user inside of the room has the ability to actually go ahead and turn on or off IntelliFrame depending on how they want to be presented. Sometimes people just want to be presented as a, as a group, as a whole room, uh, and sometimes people want to be able to kind of split out. And, and, and most people with with uh, kind of the way we've seen things and the trends, people want their own individual feeds, right? Um, so while you're inside of a team's room, if you want to turn on uh, kind of the uh, IntelliFrame, very, very simple. You'll see just here when you're inside of the call, you have uh, the three dots. Click the three dots. You get the sub menu that pops up. And then, of course, we have turn on IntelliFrame across here. You should start seeing that coming across very, very soon. So turn on IntelliFrame and then reap the benefits uh, across there. We've spoken a bit about multi-video uh, stream or multiple video stream capable cameras. There are a whole bunch that are coming out in the market right now. Uh, and of course, IntelliFrame will be able to leverage that and provide those, those video streams across. But more importantly, with some cameras out there as well, uh, you're able to actually register your face. And if you register your face, um, when your video stream comes across, it'll actually have your name on there as well. Um, so again, you know, it's providing that presence inside of the room uh, uh, and creating that inclusion so people are able to see exactly who's talking and, and what the name is. I'm sure most of you guys that have met me know one of my biggest downsides is, you know, I ask for people's names and I completely forget their names. Um, and when I see people, you know, it looks like I'm a bit snobby, but I'm not. It's just that I, I cannot remember them. And this is a lifesaver because what now happens is when the video pops across, it provides the name on the bottom. So now I'm like, hey, Michelle, hey, Jimmy, you know, I can remember those guys uh, instead of me just kind of 
second guessing and calling, you know, Michelle, uh, Michael or something along those lines. <laughs> okay, another update. So uh, this one's uh, more around Android. So if you have Teams Rooms on Android, specifically if you are using the Teams Rooms Pro license, remember pretty much most, if not all new features that will be upcoming uh, will land on the Teams Rooms Pro license. So make sure you and your customers are uh, sitting on that Pro license where you can really get uh, the best out of it. Uh, and this one's really about live captions. Um, so with live captions, you now have the ability to be able to kind of um, uh, turn on or off profanity. So if there's a lot of swearing going on, as an example, you know, you can turn those things on and off as well. Uh, again, on the Android platform as well, uh, we're giving uh, users the ability to adjust framing uh, of the in-room cameras as well. So you can choose to zoom in on the current speaker uh, or the uh, or the kind of the room itself as well. A whole bunch of different updates that are in here. The live captions one is amazing. If you are doing those online meetings on Teams, uh, you now have more ability. You, for example, it will then show you your name, uh, across there so it's a bit more clearer to see you can choose additional languages uh, as well so who what what types of languages are spoken in there and what do you want to translate it to uh, as an example they're in there as well uh, a few other big updates come in across onto front row so if you are using the front row layout uh, whether it's on android or whether it's on on, on the windows platform um, we're now going to be providing uh, spatial audio so if you have uh, a dual speaker system so for example you've got stereo speakers inside of that room spatial audio will be switching on very very soon as well so now you'll be able to hear people that are on the right hand side of the screen uh, coming up from the right hand speaker and vice versa for the left uh, across there as well uh, together mode updates as well um, so if somebody selects together mode you're able to select that background for everybody uh, inside of that meeting as well uh, and now finally breakout room support it's coming to teams rooms as well um so if you are a user that uses breakout rooms uh, people that are inside of the room now are also included and they'll be uh, put into a room themselves as well um Another update that we can see here, now we can provide one-on-one -on -one calling between a Teams Rooms device and a SIP or a H323 uh, uh, type of device as well, which wasn't possible before. Now you can do that from here as well. Uh, do read um, the updates across here. Uh, some of Microsoft's partners like Pexip um, are bringing those offerings across there. So we do have links. Uh, and like we said, we'll drop the link down below as well. Uh, and of course, the new UI. Everybody loves the new UI. Uh, that's now going to be default. Uh, so you'll be able to select that new UI, whether it's on Android or on Windows. The one thing that I did uh, kind of miss out, and I'll just scroll up across here slightly as well, is as part of kind of uh, front row, we're now bringing kind of unified backgrounds as well. So we saw in earlier kind of concept videos last year and the year before, where everybody had this black background going on. Uh, we're going to be pushing that out as well uh, over the next few weeks, few months as well. Um, so again, you know, if you um, if you are using front row, everybody has that, uh, that unified experience. Uh, so you have that black background, it's then easier for you to go ahead and concentrate on the people that are sitting on that front row plane down below uh, on that layout. Uh, the other updates that I quickly want to shout about, and I'm just going to scroll down this list across here is uh, around deployment uh, and managing your Teams Rooms system. So if you are using the Teams Rooms Pro management portal, we're now bringing some new device health signals. So more insights are coming across as well. Uh, for example, USB power settings, if Bluetooth's been disabled or not, uh, you know, any blocks to Windows updates, those features are now tracked and those features will now show inside the Pro management portal as well. Um, and we're gonna be having some resource account config options made available directly from the management pro portal as well uh, so that's useful and i will run a session um uh, and i'll do a moment this episode which talks about how you can configure those resource accounts directly through uh, kind of the pro portal instead of you having to go onto uh, teams admin center uh, insight reports have also uh, been uh, updated slightly as well so now we can summarize those issues um, the steps that were taken. And one of my personal favorites, we've now added what we call a value calculator. So if you need to justify the cost of having a pro license and having pro uh, the pro license manage uh, the devices for you, you can now work out how much it was sa saved you in terms of using the pro management portal instead of having an actual person come in there face to face, uh, you know, inside of the room to try and remediate any issues that you might see uh, across there uh, as well um uh, which is amazing cool so many updates so little time 
make sure you check out the link down below to have a quick look at those updates. And in future episodes, uh, I'll go into a bit more detail about each of them. But for now, I wish you a very, very, very good day. And I shall see you guys pretty soon.